Hey everyone, welcome back. For this week's video, I'll be showing you three ways on how to do gradients. For this, I'll be using three shades of blue, but you can use any color that you like along with as many shades as well. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is grab your lightest shade of color and letter your quote or word like so. Next, take your darkest color and start coloring in the one fourth top half of your letter. After that, take your middle color and put it in the middle, just below the darkest one. And while you're applying that same color, also use that color to blend in the, the middle shade and the darkest shade. And lastly, take your lightest shade that you use for the base color and start blending everything in until you're satisfied. Now this one is similar to the one that we just did, except the gradient will be on the bottom part. So just like the first one, start by drawing or lettering your word with your lightest color, which will be your base color. Just like what we did to the first one, take your darker shade, but except we'll be coloring the bottom half. Then take your middle shade and color in the middle half while blending in the darkest color and the middle color with that same color shade. And lastly, to finish it all off, take your base color and start blending everything in until you're satisfied and you like the way how it looks. Just like what we did with the rest of the gradients, take your lightest shade, which will be your base color, and letter out your word or quote. And then take your darkest shade, but this time we'll be coloring in all the thin upstrokes with that shade. And with that same dark shade, color in the top and bottom half of the thick downstrokes. Next, take your middle shade and apply it below, just below the darkest shade. And just like what we did with the last steps with the others, take your lightest shade which you use for the base color and start blending everything in until you're satisfied. Now this step is completely optional, but if you have a white gel pen, you can do this. What I like to do is put my white gel pen in the center or the lightest part of this shading to really pop out its highlights. I like to smudge the gel pen up and down while it's still wet. It just really gives that really nice effect to it. But then again, this is completely optional. If you don't have a white gel pen, that's also fine. But if you do have one, you can also try this for yourself. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to go ahead, like this video, and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. And thank you for watching.